Welcome, my friends from around the world, my fellow fans of Clash of Clans. I'm so happy you chose to stop by the video today. It is your host, Galadon, and it is the Clash of Clans Lost account. This is Galadon 13.0. You may well remember this account as the Gem Farm Fix Max That Rush account. Well, unfortunately, somehow, some way, it kind of slipped through the cracks. And it's been several months since it's been featured in an episode talking about the journey from what was originally an account made in a series to challenge Chief Pat many, many years ago, an extremely rushed Town Hall 12 at the time, now a mature Town Hall 13, trying to keep up with all of the updates, occasionally battling in CWL, also in the Galadon 1v10 wars where it's just Galadon facing 10 other players from another clan and uh, that's been about it. I haven't really done much work with this account until recently so I thought hey let's dig out the account that I've spent over $6,000 on. Check it out. Total up what we have spent over the last few months and yes believe it or not the last episode of this series was episode 106 and it was about I want to say about five months ago. So yeah, this account has kind of been dormant, but no cash clash, gold pass clash have been keeping me extremely busy and active. And of course, attacking in Legend League or boycotting Legend League on my main accounts. That is also a lot of work. And between that, the 1v10 wars, I'll be honest with you guys. It's just, it's tough when you have two accounts that are relatively close together, right? I mean, this is a nearly maxed out 13. I have the fully maxed out 13, the main account, and it's just not a lot of variation. I mean, it's almost the exact same strategy. Okay, it is the exact same strategy as you could obviously see right there. Queen Charge Hybrid still working, and good news, it appears to still be working right after this Logmas update. So we are still right now, though, in a little bit older footage. The good news is, by the end of today's extended episode, I will have you present day. So none of this lagging behind type stuff. We will see exactly how Galadon 13.0 looks as of December 2020, and we'll see how far we have to go before we are fully maxed out. Now, remember, the last update, a couple of months before this one, was the one that brought us the new level of Archer Towers. It finished out all of the walls going to level 14. So there's already a laundry list of upgrades that still need to be done on this account. Although I do have six builders, that was kind of nice. I wasn't really keeping them occupied because of the extreme cost to upgrade things like the Archer Towers and the Hidden Teslas. Now the good news is I've been accumulating a lot, a lot of League Medals, over 1,500 League Medals to spend. And I tell you, in today's episode, we will probably use more hammers than anybody has ever used in a single episode of Clash of Clans. We've got a lot on one account, okay? The most hammers ever on one account in one episode, perhaps. Don't, don't fact check me on that one. Let's just go. Hammer of Fighting, Wizards, now maxed out. That leaves only, I believe it was Giants in the lab to get maxed out. And of course, we rolled back in, did another, okay, another. We did a lot of these, a lot of Queen Charge hybrids in this account over the last few months but i will admit most of them not so much farming we didn't do a lot of farming on this account it was either cwl or clan war and that is the beauty of this account however we don't have to just farm everything we can gem farm fix max that rush right we can buy packages we can buy outright gems and we will in a little bit later in the episode especially when it's those gems that come with the free gifts of gems for your clan mates but getting in here, we watched the account fall extremely low in trophies. And the reason it fell so low was because I kept the use code Galadon advertisement base as my defense. That was my default defense for literally months. Since June of 2020, I've been defending using code Galadon. And uh, although the attacks are still going pretty well, the defenses dropped me all the way down to Master 3. I did switch it up to the Troll Trap base. Just trying to do some experimentation on that. We'll get to some results of that. And of course, I always have to remind you, like I remind myself, scroll down to settings, more settings to the bottom, type in Galadon as your creator for your creator code if you would. During the month of December 2020, every single penny I get from the creator code is going back to you guys in giveaways or to charity. We are giving to food banks 
for every stream this month. So far, thousands of meals have been donated, and I plan to donate thousands more thanks to you guys hanging out. Okay, more hammers. That's right. Please, hammer, don't hurt them. We are going to buy more hammers because the cooldown from those last ones had expired. So we pick up the heroes, we pick up the building, we pick up the fighting, and eventually I will regret not buying the Hammer of Spells back then because that was a few weeks ago and obviously today we've got the new invisibility spell. But in the meantime, there we go. Okay, so hammering the giants and that was the last update. Pretty much complete for the lab. Now, of course, we still had, uh, you know, six archer towers, five hidden Teslas and a bunch of walls. How many walls? A lot of walls. And this is expensive stuff, even with the gold pass maxed out. And yes, by the way, I did buy the gold pass every month that I wasn't making videos about this account. There is another hammer being used and we go back in, finish up another raid. It was rare that I raided, but I got it in there every now and then, trying to shoot for like 2 million every raid, if at all possible. We got pretty close. Okay, back at home. Getting ready for, that's right, these were the, what, Black Friday, Cyber Monday deals. Now, I decided against the $50 big cyber deal because at the time, I didn't need any hero upgrades, right? That was the one thing that we had done was all of the heroes were maxed out until this last Royal Champion upgrade. And yes, I did click on the little C at the top right just to make sure that I was using code Galadon before I bought the other cyber specials. Of course, we got to pick up the wall rings despite the fact there's a shove it of obstacles in there. I'm not a big fan, as you guys may know, so I bought it anyway. Maybe we'll use it at some point on the new Christmas trees that are spawning. And then that other package went in. But no, the cyber special didn't really make sense to waste all of that dark elixir just for 30 million gold, especially not for $50. So hey, that's the thing, you guys. I'm not just haphazardly throwing money at the wall here. I'm not throwing money out the window. If I want to do that, I will continue to buy you guys gold passes. That is right, giving away over 100 gift cards for gold passes this month on fb.gg slash real Galadon Gaming. That is my Facebook live streaming URL. And uh, there we can see that we have 80 more level 13 walls to upgrade. So we're going to keep on that with the rings hoping not to have to use gems on walls. I think that is something that is reserved only for my main account. And now, here we go. It's December. We are in the December update. We are taking our first look as Galadon 13.0 at, uh, okay. Yeah, we didn't make a lot of progress yet this month in the gold pass. So again, that lends itself to the fact that we haven't been playing that much, but we did pick up the Logmas Lock. And I hope you guys saw my episode showing all about our Logmas log at home. What an epic, uh, just I can't even thank Supercell enough for that and Clash of Clans team, uh, amazing. And we're celebrating Logmas in our house. We have a Christmas tree, but the centerpiece is definitely our log. Okay, so we've got that log. We've got the new December update here. And now, of course, even though we didn't need that Dark Elixir back a month or so ago, we definitely need some icy darkness in our lives for the uh, Royal Champion. Got to go five levels with her, and she will do that today thanks to the packages and, of course, thanks to the hammers. I'm telling you right now, the hammers, so many hammers. Okay, all of these packages, of course, are going, well, maybe not the last one. Do we need the book of everything in those potions? You know, potions, always a waste on this account. As you can see, we are overstocked, probably should be using some of those resource potions just to boost the resources while we're away. Okay. Back to the League shop. Notice we still have over 800 League medals. We've spent about 600 so far this episode, but we're going to buy the Hammer of Building and, well, we will need the Hammer of Fighting and Spells for the Invisibility and, of course, the new Siege Machine levels. Now, we only have five builders over here right now. That's because we had another builder moved over to the Builder Hall side. We got to move him back, but, of course... Just wanted to show you guys that I don't do a lot of Builder Hall attacking on this account. Obviously, we rushed what we needed to to unlock the sixth builder through auto. And then we just did that to make sure we picked up those points because that saves a little bit of gems. And uh, okay, we're going to go ahead and bite the bullet and drop 300 gems just to get me to 15% builder boost. So that's going to save me 15% on any more upgrades. And we do have a lot of upgrades. Hopefully by the end of the month, we will have gotten to the big full 20% discount. 
But for now, just going through the Royal Champion levels, an extra 5% isn't going to make that much of a difference. Now, we don't have a progress base on this account currently, but you know what? I'm kind of in love with my use code Galadon base. Every time somebody attacks it, it is a passive advertisement to use code Galadon. And I wonder if anybody who's ever attacked me has decided to use my code. I, I don't know about that one, but we can always hope, right? Okay, so there we go. Bottom left corner is all the stuff that needs to be upgraded. And we're just trying to move everything else kind of away. So there's a gap right here and we can see, there we go. What needs to go and what is fully maxed out. We moved down the workshop and the spell factory, and now it is time to get to work on the Royal Champion. Plenty of Dark Elixir for the first couple of levels, so we get her quickly to uh, level 22, and then, well, we might as well. I realize we're wasting 58,000 Dark Elixir, but that's okay. I don't really have anything else to spend it on for now, so Royal Champion on our way to level 24 with a hammer, and that's right, the cooldown is over, level 25, and another hammer. How many hammers is that today? You guys... Are you keeping track down in the comments? Let me know because I actually honestly don't even know. I just know it's a crazy number of hammers. Speaking of hammers, the workshop. Uh, let's see. We've got a book to go with the workshop level, but maybe a hammer of fighting to actually do the new siege machine. Then we've got the spell factory. Definitely not wasting a hammer here. That's a relatively cheap upgrade for Town Hall 13, right? That's level 6, and we are maxed out. That gets to go over to the maxed out side as well. And then back to taking a look at the defenses. Yes, we do have some walls, but okay, we have a lot of walls. And we will actually break down and get some more raiding done, getting in there. And uh, hopefully the new Royal Champion will help keep Hybrid alive. Queen Charge Hybrid is my favorite attack. I am a one-trick pony, and hopefully this attack is still going to be viable after the update, even against the new maxed out expos. We don't really know yet, but it seems like it likely will. Obviously, we saw some changes in balancing that might affect air attacks, but then again, you get ice sounds as well. So, I don't know. I'm going to keep using Queen Charge Hybrid for now. Here goes another massive raid, and the point here was to get enough elixir so that I could upgrade one wall for 5.1 million elixir, and then I'd be broke and we could use a rune of elixir without wasting a bunch. Because remember, we're not just, you know, being wasteful about this. This is not a crazy account where we don't care about that stuff. So we collect the treasury resources. Now we've got 5.5, we spend 5.1 on a wall, and now it makes a little more sense to use a rune of elixir and only waste 400,000 elixir as opposed to millions. Now you guys remember, this is not a gem to max episode. Gem to max is coming up in the next day or so as Galadon, of course, is going to gem everything to max instantly. This account, we're gonna be a little more patient. Obviously, we've got many levels to the invisibility spell, many levels to the new log launcher. Gotta love the log. And luckily, we've got books, we've got hammers to get this done. So the book on level two, and it turns out we actually have enough elixir with one rune to do two upgrades to the log launcher. So for just under 10 million, the level three upgrade, 11 days. That is even with the 15% discount. So we use the book, we're up to level three and the invisibility spell is, I, you know, I think the invis spell is going to be valuable, but let's wait on that. We've got the hammers. Let's go, another hammer down to 518 league medals. Luckily, CWL is in full swing right now, so we're gonna buy the Hammer of Spells, buy the Hammer of Fighting, and let's see here. We're going to use the Hammer of Fighting on this final level of the Log Launcher. So 11.9 million, almost two weeks, even with the discount instantaneously completed, and that feels good, looks good, sounds good, tastes good, smells good, the maxed out Log Launcher. Back to the defenses for now though, we do have enough gold to get one Expo upgraded, and then we have a Hammer, and that is just gonna hammer us out for the day. That'll be about it. So we're getting close. You know, this is a reasonably strong Town Hall 13. It's like 95% maxed out now. So we've got the book. We can use Book of Everything on this expo. That is gonna save us about two weeks. And then we've got the hammer. So we'll use a hammer on one more expo, getting it to level eight. And then the only thing left are these defenses in the corner and of course, the invisibility spell as well. So as we get that last hammer done, let's go ahead and get ready to pop on over to the progress report, which I had completely forgotten about. Actually, we called it the status report in the old episodes. So let's check it out. We've got a brand new status report for gem farm fix, max that rush, 
And yes, it's been months, so we go ahead and total up all that we have spent since the last episode of July, $207.82, which is going to take us to a total spent for the entire account of $6,574.85. Gems used since last episode, nearly $20,140 worth. Total time spent on the account trying to fix that rush, about 286 hours now. And if we had to have some next goals, let's get this account maxed out before Town Hall 14 releases. Let me know with a like and a comment if you enjoyed the episode and you want to see more. In the meantime, Gallifam, thank you for sticking around all the way to the end of the episode. You know I love thinking about it. Appreciate every single one of you every single day. So get out there, make the best of the rest of your day. Be kind to other people, animals, and the planet. And I'll see you back here again tomorrow for a full text. My name's Gallidon. I spent $6,000 on an account and then I forget about it.